to the channel. Today I am doing something kind of cool, I guess, because it's bigger. Something to do with the Marvel. But I am printing a Spider-Man head, like with the mask. So, uh, let's go. I'm not going to be screen recording on this one, just because I'm not doing a whole lot with the computer. But this is the head. You can kind of see it better on camera, I think. But you can see the head somewhat see the uh, the the uh, <clears throat> the details on the mask it's not going to be wearable but it's still really cool and I do believe it's hollow and go to layers 449 layers you can see it printing somewhat on the screen you know but there is no infill see x-ray you can see it is hollow through the x-ray based on how it is how it looks and everything um let's see transparent you can somewhat see it with transparent not very good on camera i can see it in person but that doesn't really matter it is going to be hollow and I, okay, let me know in the comments if you do 3D printing stuff, what is overhang? See, it says overhang right there. I click on it, I don't know what it does. Wait a second. Never mind, I figured it out. It shows all the overhangs in red. Okay, never mind. Never mind, I'm stupid. Um, with this, I did up the scale the one I'm printing I did up the scale I don't remember exactly what the scale was <clears throat> uh, it's gonna take for the scale that I did on the computer and that's gonna be printing here in a second it's gonna take like 14 hours altogether it actually said like 13 hours and 20 minutes but um as, as you get to learning the software and stuff, it's not exactly 13 hours and like 20 minutes. You can usually, depending on the size of the build, the difficulty and everything, you can sometimes guess about how much and how much time you need to add to the um, print time that is estimated to figure out just about how much time it will actually be. So for about, <clears throat> when it says something, something this big, it says about 13 hours and 20 minutes, you can add about 30 minutes and go ahead and round up to 14 hours. Add 13, add 30 minutes to 13 hours and 20 minutes. Add 30 minutes, and then you could go ahead and round up to the 14 hours. Uh, let's see if this is. Yep, there we go. That's this is the scale that I did. That's going to be printing. You can hear the printer in the background, but it says 13 hours and 20 minutes. And then you can add about 30 minutes to that which will be bring it up to around 13 hours and 50 minutes and then you can go ahead and round it up to 14 hours now you can somewhat guess it's going to be around 14 hours on the good guess but if it's going to take a little bit longer than that you can probably say about 14 hours and 20 minutes but i'm going to go ahead and stick with 14 hours and um before i turn the printer off if i remember i'll catch the time and see what it is and possibly have everything I might be recording everything whenever I go ahead and take it off the printer. But um the size, millimeters, <clears throat> the z-axis that's up and down is 134 millimeters. The y side to side. Nope, no, 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 no I'm wrong. Sorry. Y is up and down, which is 116. Z is this way, I believe, and then X X is oh oh wrong one, and then X is this way. I think I don't know that for sure. Let's see. Should show. Let's see. Let me unlock it. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, never mind. I'm I'm dumb. It shows it up here. The width, depth, and then height. So the yeah, the width is 99. Depth is 116. So that's the height. And then uh no depth. I don't know. Height is 135. You know what that means. I, I'm, yeah, I'm tired. But uh, the that's what it's gonna look like on um, printed. And yeah, okay. 
So we're going to go ahead and come over here to the printer. Right there. Actually, put in the comments. Comment something because I can print like a design for a for this for the selector because all it does is push and all it does is spin this piece here with my fingers on this because all it does is spin and you can push you select stuff that's all it does put in the comments below what I should print over this for this button like I can print an Iron Man helmet that goes over this or a spider-man face or something like that uh, put it in the comments and I'll choose one and you'll get a shout out but uh, let's go ahead and get done or get started with this print print from TF card uh, let's see spider-man head there we go as you can see the temperature is going to start rising to 60 degrees Fahrenheit and that, that's for the bed that's 60 degrees for the bed and then this in a oh where is it at? Uh, there we go the uh, nozzle is at 185 right now <clears throat> But this top number here will change in a second to 200, and then this number will start to go up. This bottom number is the current temperature. This top number is the temperature that it wants to, it needs, to, it needs to be at. So this top temperature wants it to be at 60, and this bottom temperature is the actual temperature, and it's currently rising. You can see it. You can see 53 now, and you'll see 54 here in a second. There it is. So it's currently rising. And that means this is 54. The nozzle, no, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I don't think you can see it. But the nozzle, see it now? Yeah, you can see it now. Right under there, that piece that extends down, touching this bed, that is the nozzle. And that is what extrudes the melted plastic. That is at 200 degrees. Okay, look, now you can see this one got up to 61. What happens is, it wants to be at 60. It will rise one to two or three degrees higher to be sure it's at 60 or at 200. So it, it is sure it's at that right temperature. So it's currently rising to a 200. The nozzle, the nozzle will um, heat up quicker because it's so much smaller than the bed of the printer but it will get to around 201, 202, and then it will start to print. And I do have just white filament in there. There's 200, 201. There we go, now it's gonna start printing. And there we go. And it's currently printing. So let's see how big the base of the Spider-Man head is going to be. Okay. So this is actually going to be quite big. It's not going to be humongous. It's not going to be act like the actual size of a head. But it's actually going to be pretty, pretty good size. And it's just a... Uh, Keep in mind that this is just the uh, like the base plate that you peel off at the end. So it's going to be just inside this is where it's going to be at the actual size. <clears throat> but I will give updates throughout this printing. You can see it's 7:15 p.m. So it's going to be printing throughout the night. So after a certain point, it, I'm going to go to bed and it will probably be done when I get up. And then. I will hopefully remember to start recording again, but it is what it is if I don't. Uh, so it's currently printing the base plate now. This part is going to get taken off after the print is finished. It even shows right here on this screen display, shows how much time has it has printed, three minutes so far, and then how much is completed. Right now, 0% is completed. So, once it gets done printing, this will be at 100, and this will be at whatever finished time it is at whenever it's done printing. And, uh, yeah, uh, it's gonna 
be a long, long time. This is going to be one of the longest prints I have done so far. I have done the the um, the Iron Man hand. This took about 14 hours. So this is going to be about 14 hours. So this is going to be a little while. But in the meantime, let me take a look at some of the things I've printed. I have the Eye of Agamotto from Doctor Strange, Captain America's Shield, and Thor's Hammer. Then I got this Mon a Mona Lisa. You can somewhat see it on camera, just holding it here, but when you hold it up to the light, you can see it just about perfectly. That, that's called a, a uh, that is called a lithopane, and uh, they're pretty cool. And I have the Edith glasses from Spider-Man Far From Home. I have a little articulating butterfly and of course uh, Iron Man gauntlet or glove I am working on this will be in a video if you want to see how I made it I'll be making that you gotta uh, if you want to see how I made this video or no never mind if you want to see how I made this is this is a web shooter it's gonna be functional I haven't finished it if you want to see how I'm going to make it, give me 50 likes on this video, and I'll make a video on how I made this web shooter. Maybe not this one specifically, but it will be a new one printed printed, and painted and everything. But this will be a functional web shooter. Not actually shooting webs, but it will be able to shoot a projectile attached to a string that runs through there, through that little hole and back here into a cartridge that holds the string and I'll be able to shoot it like Spider-Man does in the movies but this this is like the most techni technical I guess build I've done so far or I'm currently working on rather um, this requires quite a bit of mechanics and stuff this one is really cool um, the uh, clip here is actually a knife you can see the blade right there I took this off of a bracelet a paracord bracelet that I had and I didn't really wear it so I took it off and attached these uh, pieces of uh, string or whatever you call it to it cordage pieces of cordage to it and made it to where I can just quickly put my put it down and attach it to my wrist this this is for loading the cartridge with the string this this is going to be the projectile the string is going to be inside of here the string is going to be attached to it whenever I um, have the spring and everything you know everything else that I got to get in whenever I get it and I put it in there it's going to be able to shoot this out it'll shoot this out attached to a string there's gonna be a magnet right here on the end and if it hits something magnetic it'll stick and it'll be it'll look like actual um, spider-man web shooter um, if you want to see a video on me solving a Rubik's cube or how to solve a Rubik's cube get me to 20 likes on this video if you get me to 20 likes I'll show you how to solve a Rubik's cube but uh, enough of that and back to this going to be a while so I will update you in probably two hours so, uh, it's been two hours and not much is done so I'm I'm not real sure what time I'm going to I'm going to go to bed it's 9 40 but uh before I go to bed I'll probably do another update and uh see y'all then Okay, so it has now been four hours since I started this print, and it's it's finally gotten about an inch of it printed, plus a bunch of support structure you can see on the sides and there, towards the back, and then some underneath, but you can see the texture coming in, and then the infill, how big the infill is. Um, it's been exactly four hours and one minute you can see it right there
and this is only 20%. Only 20% of this is complete. I'm actually about to go to bed. It is 11:40, and uh, when I wake up, I don't even think this is gonna be done still. So, uh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, here's I had to I have some PETG. This is upside down. Uh, PETG filament, 3D printing filament. PETG is different than PLA. This is PLA, and you can get PLA or PETG in any color. But uh, the difference in PETG and PLA, PLA is weaker, and you can use PETG to print um, uh, like tools, like some small tools and stuff, because it's stronger, it's more rigid. I mean, it it looks exactly the same as PLA, other than the color right now, because that's just the color I have. But uh, PETG can be used to print some stronger structural things. But you can see I print at 200, and this requires a print print temperature of 230 to 250 degrees. Celsius. So uh, I would have to change some stuff over here to get the print temperature correct because it's hotter. And it's also odorless, so I don't have to have it uh, ventilated. Because uh, some PETGs and some PLAs, will have to, will, if they're not odorless, you have to have them in a ventilated area or it can cause problems. And um, ABS. ABS is another type of plastic filament uh, that has to be ventilated. But uh, so far, we got this much done. Can't wait to see how it turns out. See, can't wait to see how much is done tomorrow morning when I get up. So uh, when I wake up in the morning, I will do a little update, and that that update will be in about six hours. So. Uh, see y'all whenever I do this next update so it's uh, it's now been 10 hours and I have that much done you can see the eyes the eye part where the eyes are now it's currently 540 in the morning and uh, yeah so I'll get back to y'all whenever I do the last update so I, I just got home a few minutes ago <clears throat> and um, I haven't been home. I haven't been home since I left this morning at like 5:30, and it's 5:36 now. 5:36 p.m. and it is completed. That's the back. It took 14 hours, as you can see, 14 hours and 55 minutes and 25 seconds, if you want to be specific. But that's how long it took to print. So I'm gonna turn the machine off. And I'm gonna. Try and pull this off with one hand. If I can do it. Let me see. Uh, let me turn it back on. Wait, 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 never mind, never mind. Let's see. Set the camera off to the side for a second while I feel this. Peel it off. There we go. Okay. So now it's off. Okay. I got some paint ready, but this is it. So uh, these are the supports. Those just come right on off and get thrown away. <clears throat> okay, and then you got to pull this base plate off. Kind of hard to do it with one hand. Let's see. Kind 
kind of wants to roll. There we go. Okay, base plate is off. Almost dropped the camera. Okay, so there's some support structures here you can see if it'll focus right there that are going to come off here in a second. And there's some right there underneath the chin that I'm going to pull off. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a time lapse of me finishing this up and painting it and everything. So enjoy the time lapse. Okay, so uh, there it is. It's a uh, pretty much finished thing. It's still a little bit wet, but uh, I have finished the Spider-Man head. Looks really cool. Painting isn't the absolute best, but um, never said I was a, never said I was really good at it. But um, <clears throat> it's actually pretty cool. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, share this video, and uh, comment any video ideas. And if you if I choose your idea, I will give you a shout out in that video. Um, comment down below your favorite superhero, and uh, I'll see you on the next.